Okay, YouTubers. I've been uh, working on the car a little bit. Today I'm going to mount the turbos. At least mock them up, see where everything goes. I got my flanges, T4, 3-inch V-Van. I originally ordered 2.5 and, and it didn't fit the headers. So those bolt right to the headers. Headers come with a V-Band clamp. Getting it from my crew. I just didn't want no nothing going in there building a house. Uh, basically, bolt the flange on there. Turbos bolt to the right or the you know left. You can hang them in the front or the back. Thinking about changing the front drive accessory to Camaro, and uh, that way the power steering pump mounts right here, and I'll have to put some kind of heat protection on it. But I'm thinking about going with a Camaro front drive accessory. <clears throat> and I can uh, mount the alternator down low. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking about doing on that. But today, I've already ran the fuel lines. Like I said, regulators on. I uh, got a 10 wide to 6. 6 is coming into the regulator. And uh, this radiator is going to go. I just, this is stuff to keep the system from being, you know, and corrupted with uh, animals. I'm in Georgia. Everything will find somewhere to live. Spiders, dirt daubers, and whatnot. So, the turbos are, I did a lot of research before I bought them, but I probably had them three years. But these are them. I bought them from, uh, uh, I think, a eBay or somewhere. But they're 70s. You know, a 70 is worth about 600 horsepower on a V6. I know it because I used to run them. On my Grand National. So two of these. Ought to be worth. With these got the updated wheel. So. They should be. Capable of. 13, 1400. Horsepower. And it should spool quick. Because I made sure that I got a. 68 AR flange. So they're going to spool quick. Put them on the car. They're going to spool quick because they got a 68 flange on them, or 85 flange, I'm sorry. And um, went to yesterday, track supply, got bolts and stuff to mount them with. And uh, I got the clamps and everything. So I'm going to get to work mounting them. And then I'll give an update once I run the uh, oil feed and all that stuff, which I got a lot of this. A lot of this stuff I've had in my house, in my unused living room for two three years so these turbos been sitting in the house and uh, i'm gonna get to work on that the tank should be, i got the tank in the house and the uh, hat for the tank should be here today and that way i can go ahead and mount i've already run the fuel lines under the car let me show you that yeah, let's see get a little picture of that right quick Already ran the fuel lines. Like I say, it's a 10 feed, six return. I gotta run that return to the back of the tank. I'm gonna use completely new lines. That way I won't worry about corrupting those um, high dollar 1650 injectors is what I'm using from a fuel injection clinic. And um, this car is actually in a good shape as far as rust. There's not a lot of rust on it. I'm gonna clean it up today. I bought a wire brush. I'm going to chase and paint the bottom of it, try to clean it up, but it's been sitting for years. But uh, anyway, it's got a brand new 350, don't look like it, but that, that thing was built for horsepower. There's the fuel line. It tees off to two sixes, and this is a mock-up. This is where I stuck it up there. But anyway, there's a the fuel filter, uh, and then the tank's going to mount back here. I dent the floor so that it'll fit in the work or uh, fit without hitting when I bolt the tank back up. Basically, basically the tank's going to, filter's going to hit here. Two in-tank pumps in a stock-style tank. Uh, somebody took, you know, this, this, this chassis is not rusted out. It looks a little rough, but it's, it's actually in real good shape compared to what I've seen. And uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the... I'm going to mount the turbos today. I've already got a uh, drain in this uh, timing cover 
where I had it on another engine. So that's a 4.8, 5.3. When I put it together, I thought it was a 5.3, but when I rebuilt the motor, put new bearings on, I found that it was a 4.8. And this engine in a 4,200-pound car, that Trans Am over there, with a GT45 Chinese turbo, ran a 9.30. So in this car, which is a considerably lighter and um, this 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 engine was in good shape. It actually has a camshaft in it that uh, Kenny Duttweiler, which he deals with Grand National, he sorted one out, and I I stole the number. It was off the shelf camshaft, and he ran it on a car and it on a LS engine, and it made uh, God's nose. I think it made like twelve thirteen hundred horsepower with that camshaft, and it liked RPM. So that four point eight loves it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll give an update once I get everything mounted. And hopefully I'll be cranking it up soon. Y'all be good.